lot of Tony. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another Canada video. Right now, myself, Sam, and Dustin are doing a little bit of scouting. Jeremy from 780 Outdoors shared me a pin through the Onyx Hunt app, and we're over here right now giving her a little checky roo. It's super, super hazy from the wildfire right now, and I know you guys can't really see much in there, but we got a mixed feed of a lot of honkers, some specks, some ducks, the whole nine yards, folks. You can't complain. Since it is very hard to see with all of the smoke, I'm using the Onyx Hunt app to put a pin exactly where I can kind of see them. So that way tomorrow morning when it's dark out, we know exactly where to drive to in the field. Just a super basic feature that you guys definitely need to be using. Again, if you guys don't have this app, you need to get it. Uh, you can check it out in the link below and use our code MINDAC to save 20% off a yearly membership. Or you guys can scan the promo code right here and it'll bring you right there and you can download it. So you guys definitely need to do it. They just added some Canada layers, which is really nice. They added the uh, hunting units. So now I can see what hunting unit I'm in to then find out what landowner is where and how to get permission on stuff. I'm gonna try to film this feed as best as possible for you guys. And hopefully uh, we can see them kind of go to sleep and I'll film all that. But other than that guys, Feels good to be in Canada. Lion sandwiches. Hey. Yeah. That's the move. Yeah, it's good, man. Mm-mm. Shout out Kevin for making the old goose jerky. What do you think, boss? Dude, definitely not even good at all. Well, guys, good morning. It is the next day, and we're eating some goose jerky right now. Kevin's been taking all of our birds and smoking them for us while we've been going over there and helping him do it, and. That's been what we've been eating pretty much. A lot of goose jerky and then all the other stuff for like for spaghetti, burgers, steaks, poppers, all that stuff while we're staying here in Canada. Uh, I'm gonna film that process in a future video. Maybe it'll be this video, we'll see. But we got set up. We're actually hunting a wheat field. It was a last second call. Uh, we were looking at that pea field and then we drove down the road when it was a little bit later and dark out. We saw a lot more birds in here got permission and we're gonna hunt it. So unfortunately I didn't get to show you guys a scouting segment on this section, so I'm sorry about that. But let me show you guys what we're gonna be doing. So we have another swath hunt and the boys' blinds are right here. It's looking pretty, pretty minty. And then we come over here, I don't know how much of the spread you guys are actually gonna be able to see, but we got a mix of full bodies and big owls. We have the X14, graders and we also have some spec silhouettes from Al but basically we're kind of just running kind of like a U but uh in fan hey it's just a blob we're running a blob pretty much and we got three spinners over there but man the spread is not looking bad at all in this field there were specks tonies one snow goose and ducks so Hopefully a little combination, kind of what the theme seems to be is that when we're hunting in the morning, all the ducks do it good, but all the geese end up switching feeds or figure something out. Uh, right now, a lot of these birds are all feeding pretty close to the fields from the roost, which is unfortunate, and that is gonna be the case again today. The roost is a little under a mile, so we're really hoping our shots don't scare up the groups all at once. So we'll just see what happens, but we're gonna get in here. I think we're gonna have like six shooters or something, and hopefully it's gonna be a fun morning. Well, we just had a group of geese come over here and the boys got some good shooting. And then we had a nice uh, little pack of ducks come in and the boys shot pretty good. So we got the first itch scratched. Now we just gotta hope they keep coming. Oh, Sheesh! 
Sheesh, Kev. Daddy, chill. <laughs> Yikes, that was scary. This sucks. Oh God. Right side. Kill the three. Good shooting, brother.
four low ones coming in, guys. Kill. Something got caught in the crossfire. <laughs> <laughs> Here they come, four on the right, banking right in. in the front. Kill! Single wants it. Kill him. Yikes. Nice, John. Okay, let's count. Oh, baby. Wow. Speechless. Canada has been treating the boys super nice. I mean, you can't complain about that. Well, another day. Dude, RIP Jimmy Buffett. Did you have fun today? Oh yeah, that was a blast. Was this hunt in memory of Jimmy Buffett? We could say that. I'd like to believe that in my mind. Right on. We threw one up for Jimmy. Well guys, we did not do much vlogging in this morning hunt here. It was pretty much just all business because you guys get annoyed of me and Sam talking. So we pretty much just did some shooting and man, did we have a fun time. We ended up with our limited ducks. So then I think about like, what was it? 20, about almost 30 uh, geese or so. The specs outsmarted us again. That's unfortunate. But I mean, other than that guys, I had a ton of fun like i was saying earlier canada is insane and if you're a resident here in uh alberta come hunt with jeremy i'll leave his stuff down below he takes residents out we're just buddy hunting but you got to get out here with j-dog we have a bunch of cleaning to do and we're going to finish picking up we're going to go do that and then i'll plan on catching up with you guys later but man what a hunt drop a thumbs up for that later Ooh. A little duck fry rye. Mm -mm -mm. Well, guys, it is the evening, and we actually just checked into our Airbnb for the first two or three nights that we were here. Uh, this Airbnb was taken, so we had to stay at a hotel. But let me give you a tour of our place that we're gonna stay be staying at for the next nine days or so. And uh, oh yeah, we're gonna we're about to eat some dinner. Sam made some duck fried rice. I am absolutely pumped. And it's a good thing that we're shooting some birds because the boys are hungry. And like I said, we brought no groceries. And uh, on the menu every day is goose and duck. So front door is right here. You walk in. We obviously have to throw the old Remingtons up in this little crawl area. And this is our kitchen. Not too bad. Not too shabby at all. Looks pretty nice. Got a toaster over there coffee maker, nice fridge. And then we come over here. This is our living room slash Dustin's little greeble hole slash dining room. Mm -hmm. 
and we have a massive TV, like a like a that's got to be an 80 inch TV, boys. Eh? That's like an 85, probably. Probably 85. Hmm. That duck fried rice is looking pretty good, Slayman. Yeah, you know it doesn't taste bad. And we walk over here. Let's see if we can find some lights. Oh, there's a little bit, but we got Sam's. I don't know why I gave Sam the master room, but Sam Layman got the old master. Looking, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Bathroom. And then over here, we have Johnny Boy's room. Oh, yeah. So that's just kind of a mini tour of our Airbnb. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, the hunt this morning was a lot of fun. We didn't do a lot of vlogging, like I said, just a lot of shooting. Let me know if you guys like that. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Uh, be sure to stay tuned. We're gonna have some more Canada hunts coming. We have actually a hunt lined up for tomorrow morning where it's mostly specs and snows. So we're gonna give that a go and keep our fingers crossed. But Drop comments and uh, yeah, let me know what you thought about today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. So, I don't put that in there.